think it's like you build something up and then once it's over, you have like a release of something. Now I'm gonna cry in the car on the way home and get it out of my system. Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. I am getting my stuff together this week. I always say that, but it really feels real today. I, I've been sleeping in a little bit. Um, I don't sleep in, sleep in, cause you know, I've got to take the children places. Um, but I have been sleeping in a little bit. I've been allowing myself to kind of sleep until I have to get out of bed and do things. Um, whereas before I would get up like an hour earlier, I get up with Lee and I, even if I just sit and watch TV, it just feels like I'm starting my day like, I want to say intentionally, that sounds very, mm, but it, you kind of keep taking control of the day. You're not letting the day happen to you. It does feel positive to get up earlier than you need to get up. It just does, it just does. So I was doing that. I was getting up earlier and um, feeling great. And then I was just not, I wasn't sleeping very well. And I just thought, ugh, like you don't have to get up. So I'm not going to get up this morning. My alarm went off and um, I had that initial, ugh, I just won't. Uh, and then I thought what I'm going to do instead of just getting up and sitting downstairs, maybe having a coffee is I'm going to walk on the treadmill for maybe half an hour, 40 minutes, watch some TV uh, before I do the school run. And I did. So I kind of started my day off already feeling like I ticked something off my box. It's not even like I ticked something off my box. It's not even like I did a ton of walking. Um, it's not even like that many steps, but it's something, you know, it's something. Uh, then today I want to do a couple of things. I took all of the stuff. I don't know if I told you this the other day. I took all, where is the, where is, where? You know when it, something is in front of you and you know it's in front of you. But where though? I'll find it and that's, I'm going to find it as soon as I finish filming. I'm good. That's going to just push me to actually use something different. I'm going to use this Stila convertible colour that I bought recently uh, and really haven't used very much because I bought it around the same time that I bought all that beauty pie stuff, which I have been obsessed with. Just a lot. I do need to cancel my beauty pie subscription because I got it as like a free three month trial and you know how difficult it is to remember to cancel a, a, any kind of free trial but i do need to remember to do that because i'm probably not going to buy more things in that period of time oh i like it this could be a happy mistake that i couldn't find the thing i usually use um so yes i don't know if i told you the other day but i got all of my clothes that were in the wardrobe in ella's room out they're all on a rail in the landing or on the landing and since I've now got this whole situation up here with more rails in the office, office, closet, makeup room, um, I am going to go through that rail and be hardcore. I've got to get rid of some stuff. There's some stuff in there that I am just never, ever, ever, ever going to wear again. There's some things that I, it's nice to have them. I Maybe I won't wear them. Maybe I will. But there's some that I know I will never wear again. Maybe I bought them and I knew it was a mistake immediately. Um, maybe there's something wrong with it. It's broken or whatever. But there's, there are things that I know I can get rid of. So I'm going to have like a ruthless declutter of my wardrobe. And I think I can kind of call it a shop my closet at the same time. Because some of that stuff I forgot I even had been in that wardrobe for over a year and I never go in there because it was awkward to get to um it's going to be fun but before then I am recording another podcast episode with the candle guy that I mentioned last week we're going to hopefully knock that out quicker today last week we didn't really know what we were doing this week because when you're doing it through um I think I did it on zoom and you only get 40 minutes at a time so to, we had to keep like restarting. It was a bit of a pain. Um, but I think now we know what we're doing. It's going to be better. It's going to be better. It's going to be better, better prepared. Uh, and that's going to put me in the mindset of, and now we're doing things. We're filming. We're doing things. I've set myself a timer for 30 minutes so that I can do 30 minutes of this 
before I have to set up and do the Zoom thing. Because again, what I was going to say was part of the reason that I'm feeling like, yeah, let's get it, is when I did go out to do the school run, it's so bright and sunny outside. It's summer. It's summer. I even decided to launch our Daisy Chains candle or our Melt scent this morning because it was just... It feels like spring outside. It feels great. So yeah, I'm gonna get a bit of this done now on my proper camera and see how far I get before I have to break away for the podcast. Knocked that out of the park. Got stuff done in like a 30 minute session. Um, I filmed a bunch of moving clothes around basically. Uh, I've gone through decluttered a load of stuff. I mean, you can see there's more clothes behind me here. Decluttered a load of stuff and I've refreshed my uh, little closet section in my wardrobe as well. No, in my, in my, not wardrobe. Come on. Bedroom. Um, so I've made a good start to that video. Uh, and I've just put my switch in because once I finish this podcast, if we do it quick enough, which hopefully this time will be speedy, I'm going to record an episode of my Let's Play of Wildflowers. Because I really, I love that game, but I'm only playing the game when... I'm recording it, so I want to play the game. Um, another thing I'm going to start now, because I think I've got like 10 minutes to kill. I was looking for my phone. I'm filming on my phone. I've got 10 minutes to kill-ish, dead on. Um, so I'm going to start my wellness journal, which is this one that I got. I think I got it with a Primark PR thing, but it's from um, Papier. Papier? Papier? Papier. I think it's Papier, right? Anyway, it's from that brand. Uh, and I wanted to do this because this weekend I was so irritable. And one of my things at the beginning of the year was I was going to start tracking my moods because I can't track my cycle because I don't have a period um, because of contraception. But I really wish that I had started because this past weekend was so, I was just so irritable. So like, ugh, I, like I would put something on and be like, ah, everything's annoying me. Um, and I just didn't want to be around people and I was around a lot of people. So it just didn't make that feeling any better. But it would be great to be able to look back and be like, ah, well, this time last month, I felt the same way. You're not losing your mind. It's hormones. So I'm going to start that now. Uh, this one particularly does seem to be quite flexible. Like it just says week one um, and then it goes on and like has cycles of four weeks. So it doesn't feel like, oh, if I do it now. I can't do it, you know. I've ruined the book. You know, like when you get a dated diary. So it gives you information about like, or information. It gives you space to write information. Uh, daily intentions, nourishment, connection, energy, sleep. So it's Monday. It seems like a good time because this is week one. If this is a thing that you can actually buy, I assume it is. I'll try and find it for you and, and link it below. But... Um, it feels really doable. They're really small things. So it just says intentions. I don't know whether or not they should be like spiritual intentions, but I'm literally just doing it as like a to-do. So organized clothes, I've made a start on that. Exercise, I've made a start on that. Prepare for a doctor's appointment. I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning and I want to prepare because I want to know what exactly I want to say. What do I want out of that doctor's appointment? Energy levels are really high. I'm not going to say like top. Also, I've made those. No, I haven't. I was going to say I've weirdly made those bubbles like bigger and bigger but the circles are bigger and bigger i'm an idiot um but yeah it's not not top top level but i'm feeling really good um seven hours of approximately of sleep i would say this is where it threw me because movement today's natural motion walking on the treadmill and just like wandering around my house that's going to be the thing rest more moment this is supposed to be something you do in the morning to prepare for the day what will today's rest activity be? What? Like, prepare a rest activity. What What have I decided my rest activity is going to be for today? I have no idea. So maybe that's a good thing. It's going to make me think ahead. When are you going to move? And when are you going to rest purposefully? So look how full. I'm feeling really great about this Boaxel storage. I don't know if I've mentioned it earlier. Um, so I think it's probably going to be sitting on the sofa playing on my game. Or maybe, like restful maybe i can use this filming myself play a video game that i want to play that's restful it's what i call productive rest and then the last part is how do you feel so really positive after an irritable weekend which i wanted to put in there so that i can look back and know that a few days before this date not a great time uh energized by sunshine and nicer weather and then later i'm going to fill in i suppose kind of 
nourishment, what made me feel good. Like that must be like the food that made me feel good, I guess. Um, kind of inspiring moments. And then a little journal section, daily gratitude before bed. There are more pages before this, which I'm going to do, but I didn't want to have to like set aside a lot of time to do these things and read through this yet. I might do that before I do the, the evening portion, but yeah, I'm actually going to start this. I was just chatting with someone on Instagram who we were we were talking about like we've got similar goals for the year and she was saying how none of her friends do um Nicola if you're watching um none of her friends do any kind of goal setting or anything like this they're not into this kind of stuff and if I wanted someone to talk to about it and like hold us accountable we could do it together which I totally agree so we're going to do that and we were kind of chatting about how our goals have done so far in the first quarter and um, I think that probably helped to kind of make me feel a, a little more energised as well. I'm feeling like we're, we're kind of coming to the end of the first quarter. And I said I was going to do this seasonally. So like my spring quarter is going to start and I'm going to refresh my goals, refresh my um, habits and what I want. Kind of see how the first quarter has gone. Not great. <laughs> Not be disheartened by that and think well what's the point but take the things that I have done and try and improve upon them feeling a little bit snacky but I don't have time to eat an actual meal so I don't know about anybody else but there is a very very perfect snack to have when you need a little bit of something but you don't have time and that is I mean it can be a baby bell it often is a baby bell but cheese and a pepperoni this is premium snack tier manny's just lifted his face up can you tell his face is molded into the the smush of the cushion you're having a great day aren't you you are oh your face has been flattened by sleeping on it all morning oh it's okay you can go back to sleep go back to sleep no, it's not. It's still not quite warm enough outside for Manny's liking. He's a summer guy. He's a summer guy. Podcast went really well. Um, I always feel like it's really motivating and inspiring. Like the stuff that, that we talk about and I come away like, oh, I should do this. It's great to talk about someone or talk to someone rather who is doing the same kind of stuff that we're doing. So I came out like one of the ideas that came away with was... Um, I was saying that our concrete jars are like our USP. They're the thing that we should be focusing on because they're like what makes us different. And some people don't know what to do with these concrete jars. Oh, well, they're not concrete anymore, but they're like a stone cast jar. Um, I don't know what to do with them after they've burnt the candle down. And we need to be making more of that. We need to be promoting more like here's the things that you can do with the concrete jars afterwards. And um, we've got the Daisy Chain one that will launch shortly, which is only a, a real small number of them that I've made. But we thought maybe we will send out some flower seeds so you can use it as a little plant pot afterwards. Just, you know, some people do uh, like flower paper labels and stuff. We need to kind of hone in on the things that make us unique. Now, I'm going to have a little snack and I'm going to play wildflowers. My gaming channel it's basically just a Wildflowers channel now. I don't have time to be playing so many different games. And this is the game that I really want to play. And like I said earlier, I can't play it off camera. So this is just the game. This is just the one that I'm playing. This is the only time I get to play this game. And I love it. Uh, so I am going to do that. But I thought before I do that, I might do a little chit chat. Picked up Milo. I have, did I tell you this earlier? I can't remember. I've gone through a lot of clothes and um, I've got three bin bags full of stuff that I'm going to take to a cash for clothes place at Lakeside in Doncaster just to see. Like, just to see. How much will I get for these bags of clothes that usually they just stay in my car for months? Look at this. £2.80 for three massive bags of clothes. Milo's pleased. He's got some pocket money. Wait, really? But the real, yeah, but the real... This is really like that's like I've given him a huge amount of money. Um, the real benefit is that it, it's out of my car. I was <laughs> I 
I was motivated to actually get rid of it. You know, I have another for two pound um, eighty. Two pound coin, which means now I've got four pounds. I'm, I'm actually rich. That's really exciting. So now we're going to Lidl. Always an exciting part of Lidl. What do you want? Do you want to get a pastry thing? Cheese pretzel. I feel like we should get something because we're here, but I did have a plan for lunch or dinner rather. And this is gonna really go against the grain because you really have to eat these things day of. I am making a really old school wrap today. Me and Lee used to have this when we were first together. It's like chicken goujons, southern fried specifically, chicken goujons. Um, I've got sour cream underneath, he's got mayo. Chicken, uh, chicken cheese and lettuce. It was like a poor man's KFC wrap back in the day when we really couldn't afford to be eating KFC regularly. It's probably healthier than KFC too, right? Mm. Deliciousness, crunchy, and it's gonna be super nostalgic. It is half past seven. I don't leave the house till eight. And I'm treadmilling. Manny's hanging out and watching YouTube. I think I'm on a streak. I actually did my skincare while I was walking. Hey, I've just realized my hair looks crazy. Um, it doesn't hurt to look a little bit crazy when you go to the doctors. In my experience, if you are, if you find it hard to advocate for yourself and come out and say, I'm struggling, I need help, this is hard. Um, it can help to physically represent how you are feeling. <laughs> um, so I'm here because I did the school run and then I've just got to kind of hang out. I'm here a full half an hour early. So I did bring my switch somewhere around here. There. Uh, and I'm just going to sit in the car for half an hour and then go in. Um, last night I was Googling TMJ disorder. I don't know if any of you know about this. It's like, um, God, look how bright the sun is. It's to do with your jaw. And I think, I think what I need to say when I go in there is kind of enough is enough. I can't, I can't live like this anymore. Um, it's constant. It's never at 10, the pain, but it's a minimum of a five and it's all day, every day. And it's just constant. Um, and it's getting to the point where it's actually, I think I'm losing my mind. Um, so since I've been a million times and they have not really been helpful, uh, and I swear to God, if he sends me to a physio, I'm going to never go to a doctor ever again. Um, if he sends me to a physio and the physio says, do you have a tennis ball in your house? Um, so I kind of had to go in with like, is it this maybe? And upon my Googling over the time that I've had this 10 years, uh, TMJ has come up a lot. So it can be caused by loads of different things. Apparently there's a huge link with ADHD, which is interesting because I grind my teeth a lot. If I'm like singing, singing along to a song in my head, I'm grinding my teeth along, like almost like my teeth are dancing, like grinding along to it. I have quite sensitive teeth as a result. Um, but as a kid, I had really bad headaches and earaches and ear infections. And this can all, I don't know about the infections, but this can all be related. And then it can also cause problems with your cervical spine, which is the problem I have. Um, I also have tinnitus in my ears. So I'm just going to go in and be like, is it this? I've never done this before because I am of the opinion that if you go into the doctors and you say, I think I've got this, then they'll be like, well, it's not that. So let's look at the other things. But I'm over it now. I just, I just need them to be doing something. Someone else said, said recently, I think it was said someone on YouTube, um, that it's crazy that, I mean, it took until I think two years ago for them to give me any painkillers at all, which is bananas. Um, but the fact that this has been ongoing and I've had some kind of, I've seen physios, I've had scans, I've had, I say scans, I think I had an x-ray. Um, probably could do with a CT, but you know, that's terrifying. Um, but it's not a new thing. It's it's documented in my file that this is not a new thing. And the fact that I have been on these painkillers for two years minimum, and it's just being treated like something that's gonna go away. Uh, they said I should be referred to a pain clinic. So again, I'm just, I just have to get myself in that mind frame of like, work myself up enough to say, I can't, I can't live like this. And for them to take me seriously, because otherwise I go in and the minute I go into that room and there's a stranger in front of me, I'm like, everything's fine. I don't even know why I made the appointment. Everything's fine. Is it the thing that we don't want to burden people? Is it just that we don't feel comfortable being vulnerable in front of these strangers? I don't know, but I need to get myself 
I almost need to get myself upset enough to not be able to pretend everything's fine. I don't know if this happens to anyone else. I'm not as upset as I might appear. Um, I think it's like you build something up and then once it's over, you have like a release of something. Because I swear, like 99% of the time, I leave a GP's office, I close the door, and I'm just like, <sighs> anyway, um, they uh, refer me to a pain clinic. I just kind of gave them the information and they said, well, really, you should have been referred to a pain clinic. So that's great that they mentioned it. I didn't have to ask. I didn't mention the TMG, TMJ, whatever it's called. I totally forgot when I got in there. I didn't mention any of the other things. I'm horrible in these situations. I literally, I mean, I made a list. I made a list of like, mention these things, are these things related? And I just go to pieces. So anyway, um, I'll get a referral for the pain clinic and hopefully at some point I will get a longer, I think part of it was, I, sorry, <clears throat> oh, it's not, I mean, I don't enjoy watching other people cry on camera and I don't, it wasn't my intention, but I want to tell you while it's fresh in my mind, <sighs> I, I think one of the things that, um, like threw me off and I said this yesterday to I don't know if I said it to you or where I was talking but um when you make an appointment and then they tell you you should have made a longer appointment and I saw on the door it said these are 10 minutes appointments like if you feel like it's longer you should have made a longer appointment it said that on the door of all of the doctor's offices and I just thought god it takes so much to get the appointment to, to just but get yourself to make the appointment in the first place, but then to get the appointment, to wait for the appointment, to like build yourself up to, to go to the appointment, to be told you should have made a longer appointment. Ugh. So I think I went in there just thinking, well, I've got to be concise. I'll just talk about the fact that I don't want to be on painkillers constantly. And yeah, that's what came out of it. So we'll see. But if anyone else has been referred to a pain clinic, I would love to hear your experiences. Now I'm going to cry in the car on the way home and get it out of my system. Can you see the rainbow? Maybe not, but I can see the rainbow. Thank you. It's fully raining now. Get myself to a Starbucks and a blueberry muffin. Just felt like it. Mm. Hotter than hell. And I really don't want to go back in the house now because it's so rainy. It's really warm and we're kind of getting to that springish, aren't we? But I don't know what's going on with my shirt. Um, but yeah, also, I'm so ready to be rid of this now. I have been trying to film like a long hair video um, while I still have long hair and just dealing with it, just like the oiling and the brushing, the detangling. <sighs> I'm ready for, I think I'm probably ready for a change. He's got this little squashed face again. You can see half of his face is like flattened because of how he's been lying. Have you been sleeping while I've been out? Okay, I'm home. I'm gonna watch some TV for a little bit, play on my Switch and drink my coffee and have my muffin. See how I'm feeling. I've got some candle things to do this afternoon. I actually was gonna film some stuff. I knew ahead of time I might not be in the mood to film things today, but we'll see. Uh, but I'm really sorry for bombing you out towards the end. Like, I was feeling really positive yesterday. This is always how I feel after going to the doctors. I just feel so... It's like the definition of this could have been an email. No one ever examines me. We could have talked about this over the phone. And I build myself up for it for weeks. Oh, my God, I'm going to set myself off again. Let's not, let's not. Ugh! It's the worst. I hate, I hate going to the doctors. So, if someone would give me a, a positive pain management clinic or whatever it's called story that would really lift my spirits right now um but i'm gonna try and shake it off i'm gonna do a little bit more walking on the treadmill i'm gonna do a little bit of editing i was filming that video yesterday that was like a declutter and organize of my closet i can probably do that i can probably get that boxed off um i was also doing 
fun fact so i've got quite a lot of like breakout -y things going on down here not that it seems so much like it now because i went to town with the red light therapy last night and um some real strong niacinamide which helps and i use spot patches overnight but i haven't had breakouts really badly in weeks and weeks and i've been so diligent with my skincare and this past weekend i was out at my friends on the saturday and it's hard to know whether it was one of two things one i didn't use a proper cleanser i left face wipes and things for myself downstairs so i had all my skincare all my skincare was in this bag in the living room um all my skincare i had but i didn't do my proper cleansing brush thing that i do a foreo thing uh so it could have been that because it was just at one occasion but it could have been that or it could have been that I was drinking because I had quite a lot of beers during the course of Saturday, uh, which is unusual for me these days. I don't drink very much. Um, I always say this, but I, I mean, it's one of those things that you don't want to give someone the wrong impression. If you say you drink a lot, it sounds like you're an alcoholic. I drank, um, what would I say, frequently. I could drink every day, but a little, like not even, like I don't drink for effect. I drank I like a beer. I really like a beer, but I really like a beer at a pub. Um, but I don't usually drink for effect. I drink because I enjoy it and it was habitual. And then when I started taking my antidepressants, um, that I just didn't even want. Like I couldn't, you would not have thanked you for any alcohol whatsoever. I would get a pint in a pub, couldn't even finish it. Um, so that was one of the most amazing things that happened when I did take those antidepressants was that like broke me of the habit of, oh, I'll have a beer to relax in the evening. Um, so although it was, it was excessive, it wasn't like drinking to excess, you know what I mean? Uh, but I was drinking frequently. And so now I wonder whether or not my skin, cause we're like, I don't know, 18 months down the line. Um, and I'll have a drink here and there, uh, you know, probably like a regular person. Um, and I think that a, a lot of the drinking, um, regularly, that habit was born of the pain. Um, and I probably convinced myself that if I had, that would help me relax. I honestly think I need muscle relaxants. That's how it feels like my back is like this all the time. And if I took muscle relaxants, so I think, you know, it's all hand in hand, isn't it? But all that is to say, because I don't do that anymore. Um, when I do drink, I wonder if my skin's like, ah, what are you doing to me? Ah, I hate this. Um, so it could be that or it could be the face wipes. Either way, I've got, I just suddenly had a chin full of breakouts all at once oh another thing that it could be is i was shaving my face and ipling and end of last week i plucked instead so maybe it's that i don't know i don't know i don't know unfortunately i changed too many things at once so i'll never know but i was going to do a skincare video and i think i'm going to wait until my skin's a little bit clearer and my face and my eyes are less red okay that's enough of this. See you guys later.